Hello everyone and welcome back to my Asteroid Defense Series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23.5. In the previous episode we left our Duna mission in this sort of orbit uh, to intercept Ike and then also bring back the Duna lander so that we can make the Duna landing. So without further ado I'm going to bring the mission in and we're going to try and get some landings down today. So here is our craft departing Duna Sphere of Influence in favor of Ike's. Something just occurred to me. How much... I don't know about my electric charge resources on here. I don't I know I didn't put any batteries, but I think I might have missed solar panels as well. Do I have solar panels up on these? No. Okay, well, uh, very interesting point. Let's turn off the lights on that. Uh, I think we're going to need to conserve electric charge for the lander. How much do we have in here? 50. Maybe okay. Maybe not so okay. We'll see. Okay, so this is our approach to Ike. And first things first, I want to burn to flatten out our, our inclination. Okay, yeah, I think we can do that. And then we'll separate the Ike portion of the mission will be able to do its thing. Uh, don't turn this too vigorously, otherwise we get wiggles. Yeah, the Ike portion, this portion, will be able to do its thing around Ike while the other portion proceeds to Duna. That is our plan. Now where is the maneuver node? I'm going to take SAS off so it doesn't stabilize things. I want it to keep rotating until I find where the maneuver node is. Mackin and Edwall, the two guys in the landers, seem to be quite happy, but Mick and Kerman, the one in the command module, does not. So, sort of interesting. Mage just upset that he doesn't get to make a landing on one of the one of these bodies. Oh, we should do a high, uh, high over Duna yeah, let's do that. Uh, crew reports. Yes, there appears to be some steep rocky slopes. The higher areas are lighter in color and the lowlands appear to be very dark gray. Excellent observation. See, Mickham, you're contributing. It's very helpful. Why don't you do an EVA as well? Okay, keep that. And we'll transmit that as well. Excellent. Okay, continuing on to the maneuver node. Oh, Mickgun's happy now. See, you give your Kerbals a little bit of a compliment and they're all... They're all happy. They are definitely easily pleased. Nope, nope, I, I think he heard that. He's gone all serious again. Yeah, that's, that's as good as I 
could ask for. So, it is time to separate these guys. All the lights are off on this side. Hope there's enough reaction power on this. It's not much... It's not much RCS either. Uh, let's let's fill up its RCS tanks using this one. Yeah. I guess we'll just fill up two opposing ones. Then they'll have roughly equal amounts. Okay. Well, the now the Duna mission itself is the one that's worrying me because of its lack of electric charge. It's got a lot of thruster power. And it's got all of this fuel. Just doesn't have much way of uh, handling it. But, let's separate. Ooh. Okay. So, let's go to this side. Let's stitch the the ring. Let's make sure that we're doing this right. Okay, Ed Ball Kerman. Uh oh, uh, losing electric charge like crazy. Uh oh, uh, these lights. Lights off. Lights off. Lights off. Turn SAS off. It'll just coast to where it needs to go. And hopefully, well, is there in what's what else is taking uh, electric charge? No. Something is taking electric charge. This could jeopardize our mission. Darn it. What is it? The pod shouldn't be taking electric charge, should it? Let me just disable the reaction wheels for a sec. No. Maybe the probe core? No. Just disable that reaction wheel as well. Still losing electric charge. These lights aren't on. Okay, well when we run the engines we'll we'll boost our electric charge back up, so let's let's just go with that and switch back. Cause I need to get this into orbit around Ike. So activate this engine. Got control from here. Silly me for not putting any solar panels on that other part part, but That's what we've got now. Okay, what we'll do with this portion. Of course, its electric charge isn't infinite either. Let's just turn lights off like this. Something drains electric charge. I, I didn't know if the capsules do or not. I guess they might. Okay, we are at periapsis. So we'll burn for orbit. Okay, so this is now nicely situated in, in orbit around around Ike. I want to switch to the other mission and do the same for it around Duna. Well, we've run out of electric charge. Let's see what that means in practical terms here. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to get into Duna Orbit. Assuming that's possible. I believe it is. It's complicated because I can't remember how this works compared to Realism Overhaul and what's what. I disabled everything. There's... Is there still a light? Maybe... Hold on. Well, it's not like I can turn on the lights anyway. Uh, there's still, still some light here. Maybe something is causing some drain. I don't know. Okay, well, uh, let's get to the node. And then when we run the engines, we should recharge a bit. I wouldn't be too excited right now, Ed Ball. Your ability to land on Duna is significantly jeopardized. Sunlight doesn't help. Okay. We will need well, we'll we'll enable torque if we can get some. And let's see. Okay, that gives us a little bit of a boost. All right. Let me just turn Get SAS on this job now. Looks like we could try to make a landing based on this engine's ability to regenerate the electric charge. But it's gonna be dicey. Alright, let's finish off this. Okay, well, it'll inevitably lose electric charge again, but we can dip the orbit further in that case. Let's turn back to the Ike mission and get that landing done. Now here, we do have little solar panels on this thing. Not much. Oh, we have this one too. Well, let's extend that while we're here. So this one is a much more robust lander than the than the Duna lander for some reason. Unless I'm just missing the Duna lander's solar panel for some reason. Okay, we did high over Ike on the crew report and the EVA. Uh, is there any point to doing a thermometer reading of some sort? If I can find it. There it is. Nope. Okay, well then let's just uh, let's just look into bringing it down. Obviously the brighter side is the place where we should do that. And just make sure all the fuel is okay. It's got 40 units of mob propellant is fine. Right, well, I guess this is the time to do it. Undock. Mitgun is totally panicked like all the time. Okay, there's our lander. Did I really not put another solar panel on here? Oh, I guess I needed space for the barometer. Alright. Now, let's plot for a landing. Okay, well hopefully things will drift apart by the time we actually have to do this burn. Time more. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> this is actually coming closer. Um, Alright. Alright, so let's activate this engine. And I think it's okay to start this retro burn. Okay, we have retro burned. 
14 kilometers. What's the highest altitude on Ike? Seems very bumpy. Seems like I might hit something if I do too much. Let's get around the planet before we do anything more. We are, uh, we're going clockwise. We're going uh, rotating retrograde. I'm gonna have to remember that uh, when we try and rendezvous with, uh, with everything. So all rendezvous must take into consideration the fact that we might be going the wrong way. Okay, this seems like a good place. Okay, the rest is just landing posture. Does this have, uh, let's see, radar altitude? Okay, that could be helpful. Look at this view. That's an ominous view right there. I wonder why with all our solar panelry. It seems bright. The sun. The sun's around, right? I mean, this is the lit side of Ike. But our solar panel seems to be pointing down. Trying to find a good spot. I think this this area here looks good. Okay, any indication on the radar altimeter? Not yet. Oops, keep pressing M instead of C. Wait, does this Oh, this rocket doesn't recharge the electric charge. Hmm. Well, we have solar panels, that's a plus, but clearly we have a serious minus in our on our hands here. This is not the same rocket as is on the other lander. Okay, 2,000. So we're looking at uh, 5,000. Okay. I turned the lights on, but we don't really have much electric charge, it looks like. Well, I guess I'd better. Okay. We are down. Let's turn SAS off and turn the lights off. Hope at some point the sun decides to actually shine on our panel. What's up with this? Blocked by Duna. Really? Okay. But yeah, uh, before everything goes horribly wrong for us, let's extend the ladder. Let's actually have the crew report done. Crew assessment. Assess, oh, can I? Can we? Let's keep that data. We'll wait until it gets to the command module before transmitting that. Okay, and uh, we'll do the same for the other stuff. Right. Uh, log pressure data can't be done. Thermometer, that can be. Let's keep that data. Okay. EVA. As usual, let's do our experiments first. That's what we're here for. Uh, the EVA report doesn't, uh, well, see something zip by. Ooh. Well, that might suggest that we do have some intelligent life around here that might be using the material from Ike to hurl asteroids at us, so let's keep that data. Very important. Take the surface sample. The dark black soil has an almost crystalline structure. It's fun to play with. I don't think that's why we were trying to check the surface of Ike, Mackin, but uh, alright. Uh, why is it less than 100% for recovery? 
Could it be that it's because we've seen something like this before? On an asteroid, perhaps? Okay, well, let's recover it and have the scientists back home deal with that. And, of course, we must plant a flag. So, Mackin, oh, misspelled his name, on Ike, and we'll put today to state as usual. Checking to see where the asteroids come from. Okay, that definitely describes our mission. Okay, so I'm going to hold off on sending him back up. Well, should we just cl complete this mission? Maybe that's the thing to do. It's a question. It's a question of whether I really want to risk that or just wait until Duna stops eclipsing the sun so that I can restore electric charge before launching. Okay, Mac, and I think we've got to go with the safer route here. Let's let's wait until Duna stops blocking the sun, and then we'll have your electric charge so that we don't have to worry about you on the way up. Then we can do a slightly less stressful launch and docking. Let's turn to our Duna mission lander and see what we can do with that, which is probably already depleted all of its electric charge. Uh, no, it hasn't, but it's, it's pretty close. We don't really need all of this power right now, but actually, before I do anything else, uh, I want Edball Kerman to observe the materials bay get a low... well, let's... let's turn this a little bit. Oh, can we even turn it without uh, depleting all of our electric charge? Okay. Yeah, I want to have the materials bay observed and then Eball to bring all that data in. So we'll keep the data. The high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. Uh, looks like it would be fun to paint the rockets with this. Shouldn't we eventually get glow-in-the-dark rockets then? Anyway, uh, let's IV... oh, not IVA. We're doing EVA. Okay, careful now. Careful. Okay, collect that data. Yep. Oops, wrong key. Okay, grab and board. All right. Well, Ed Ball's sure making the best down of a difficult situation here. Let's transfer all the fuel into, well, all the fuel we can into the center one. And then dump the outside. Or perhaps we should make sure all that crashes onto the surface of Duna. I guess that's fair. No real point trying to figure out a precise landing here. We don't have a particular place we want to visit. I'm a little bit worried about trying for that crater.
Well, right now, yeah, actually, uh, let's shut down these engines. If we tried to fire them up like this, it wouldn't be good. Because this one's out of oxidizer and it'll be unbalanced. Okay. Okay, well, the atmosphere will definitely produce enough drag to bring these things down. So, I hate doing this on the dark side, but, well, we've got, th well, we, we're bringing, well, we don't really need those science juniors anymore. Okay, I think we've got all the stuff taken care of. Center one is full. Lander tank is full. Yep, we can drop the outside pods. Uh, let's just make sure it's staged correctly. We seem to have different... Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Mm, that wasn't what I wanted. Okay, I think that was. They're not really drifting off very far, are they? Okay. Yeah, we're free of them. Okay. Hmm, looks like we might hit this crater after all. Yeah, I want to go a little bit higher just so that I can get into the bright side of things. Okay. Might be hitting this crater after all, we'll see. I really hope the LV-909s do electric charge. I don't remember that. Don't remember whether they do or not. Okay, it's a little bit better. The atmosphere will probably produce some drag and might drag me all the way back to that crater that I'm trying to miss, but but uh, then we'll then we'll do a reading of that crater. There are no biomes on Duna yet, so there's no advantage to hitting a particular crater or not. Okay, currently flying over that crater I wanted to avoid, I think. And I think that's this one. Looks pretty mild, actually. We're still pretty high. Atmosphere is not really producing any drag on us. Okay, electric charge is depleting, so I'm going to run the engines a bit. And in fact, this... I think maybe around here would be good. Tough to say. All very wrinkly. That portion looked good. No, this, this isn't very good. I don't like that bit. Maybe further on? Let's... Point retrograde proper. I'm not going to trust the atmosphere to actually slow me down. I don't think it's got enough.
The closer we get, the worse every part of the terrain looks. <laughs> it's it's not the most pleasant uh, place to land. Okay. Okay, it's getting close to time to... ...drop this stage that we can't carry with us. Yeah, uh, IVA, what kind of... Oh yeah, okay. Uh, no, no, come on. Okay, let's drop it. Okay, and yeah, landing gear. And right. So I thought I saw 2,000 or so. This isn't really powering us up much. Okay, we're on the ground, but we're depleting electric charge profusely. And so we're gonna run out of uh, reaction control power. I want to get him back up before we do. So crew report, uh, keep that data. And barometer reading, yeah, keep that. I'm not even gonna read it. Uh, do we, I don't think we have a thermometer and I'm not gonna Try and hunt for it now. Goo. Sort of mystery goo. Keep the data. EVA. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, yeah, just just drop. Yes. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, take surface sample. Consists of grainy, very fine sand like dust. Appears to be getting everywhere. Keep that data. EVA report. Determine the red sand casts are plausible. Keep that data. Plan a flag. Okay. Head ball on Duna 2014. 22. Hurry! <laughs> okay. Let's, let's not waste time. Come on, come on. Okay, uh, so we need to get back up. See, what I'm worried about is I'm gonna lose reaction control, uh, the torque. I'm gonna lose torque if I don't get him up quickly enough. But which, uh, I guess we better, let's, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go regular. I'm gonna go pro-grade, counterclockwise. And the other guys will just have to figure it out. Okay, yep. Is it that it produces electric charge but not enough? No, I, I don't think it produces electric charge at all. Ouch. Okay. On the bright side, it'll probably have quite a lot of fuel left, which means that once the other, once the command module really docks with it then the command module will be able to take that fuel. So whatever maneuvers it needs to do to match up with this, which shouldn't be too bad, it's as long as I plan things right. Um, it should be able to recoup whatever loss it has. Plenty of mod propellant available too. Uh, 
I don't really want to coast to Apoapsis because electric charge, but it looks like we're we'll, we'll go as far as we can. Okay, I think uh, the electric charge is getting a little bit dicey, so I should probably take care of the orbital burn now. Not a great orbit, but but it'll do. Maybe maybe a little bit higher would be better. Okay, well. After this, this will be dead in the water. It needs needs some some help to get stuff. Okay, which can okay this this can still has data. So Edball, could you grab that? Oh, the barometer reading. Hmm, that'll be tough. We're not in range, are we? Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, back. Oh, boy. Okay, forward. Down. 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 Collect data. Yes. Okay, up. Okay, F and board. Whew. Okay, I'm not even gonna try and get the barometer reading. Darn it! Because uh, you know what? I think uh, we didn't we send that off already. F uh, with the probe launcher Y. I thought so. Why why were we able to get this anyway? Or did we miss that in probe launcher Y? Eighty science. Um, we will we'll, we'll have Ed Ball do that after it's stocked up with everything else before we ditch this whole thing. Yeah, I think it'll be safer like that. Let's turn back to our Eichlander and get that off of the surface. Now I hope if we take a look at where Ike is, I think the sun has is now unblocked by Duna. So let's switch to that. Okay, yes, and we are recouping electric charge. So I think it's safe to go with uh, Mac and Kerman. There's our, our command module. Perhaps we can time warp a little bit. Yeah, I think this will be a good time to rendezvous with it. We need to go retrograde though. Interesting. Okay, up we get. Hmm, a little bit off. Uh, let me see what kind of maneuver we need to do to meet up with it. Okay. Oh, okay, it looks like the sooner but the better. Wow, that's a uh, big 4.4 kilometers. Sort of forget how... how small Ike is. Okay, and I think another burn here is in order. 
Oh, not that much. Okay, okay. 0.2 kilometers is sufficient. I, I don't need to... Don't need to worry too much about that. Looks like our fuel situation is good. Everything going as planned. And I'll use RCS for this one. Alright, then we'll have to do the target matching burn. Okay. Let's get this show on the road here. Docking with Mackin. Let's go to the other side and make sure everything's lined up properly. Okay, we're, uh, there we go. Right. Not that way, the other way. There we go. Stellar. Midgun is still worried. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's a mission commander for you. Always worried about everything. Okay. Uh, I can't see anything, so we, we have some electric charge. Oh, wow, not much. And those are ba back-facing lights. Those aren't any good. Let's see. Lights on here. Well, we got some. And they're also facing the wrong way. That's handy. Guess the Milky Way, as usual, will be our best source of light. Okay, I think we're docked. Yes, we are. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I think we will we will call it an episode. We've landed on the on Duna. We've landed on Ike. We've brought both missions back up into orbit, and now it's just a matter of transferring everyone back to the command module in preparation for the trip home. I'm going to empty this fuel tank into the command module's service module tank and probably the mod propellant as well but while I'm doing that I will say thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time